So peace has to be within to begin with. You have to be peaceful within yourself. If you are not peaceful, if you are playing tricks with your ego, if you are just satisfying yourself saying that you are peaceful, you are sadly mistaken. Peace is to be enjoyed within yourself. It is to be felt within yourself. So do not give wrong satisfactions to yourself. Do not give false notions to yourself. Don't cheat yourself. It is not that if you have too much of silence outside, you feel peaceful. The peace has to be within yourself. You have it. Your spirit is absolutely peaceful, avyagra, without restlessness. There is no restlessness in your spirit. Absolutely peaceful and steady. It is for you to feel it. It is not for anybody else to certify you. This is one thing. Secondly, when I am telling you something, you think I am not telling you, it doesn't register in your brain. You think I am telling it to X, Y, Z, but not to you. You are not in it. That's another sign there is no peace. Because there is no peace, there is no registration. Whatever goes into your head, that is going to work out. But what I find that people have concave personalities, then they receive it. Those who have convex personalities do not register anything. The registration is so poor that whatever I say doesn't have any effect on them. So to have peace, the best way to put your mind right is to think of good things. Think of the flowers, not of the thorns. What good things others have done to you? What good things there are? What are the beautiful moments you have had? And count your blessings. Count your blessings. Otherwise, you cannot create peace. Peace, He You need not pay attention to everything like that. Keep yourself attention at peace. Keep the peace inside with your attention inside. Actually, if you really allow all my words to go inside your brain, I'm sure I'll achieve the results. But with the convex mind it's very difficult. Just suck in. The another aspect of peace is never try to support anything that is boisterous or which is uh, destructive or also destructive. Anything that is destructive is never to be supported. But anybody who is being tortured or aggressed or dominated is to be protected and supported. If you have the strength of peace, you can do it just by standing there. You don't have to fight for your peace. But if it comes to that, a person like Hitler, when he came, people had to fight for their peace. Now the second part of our culture has to be bliss. People should see bliss working on us 
people should feel there is bliss. If a person is blissful, he looks blissful, he emits bliss, he radiates it. He doesn't look a miserable, unhappy creature who is all the time grudging, grumbling or worried about little petty things here and there. And nobody has right to disturb anybody's bliss. Somebody is in a blissful state, try to copy that person and become that. But people get jealous of such people who are blissful and try to disturb. That's why so many saints were tortured, because they were so blissful and happy people. We have to enjoy our bliss within, that's important. Perhaps you are not aware of the bliss that you have, not at all aware. Bliss can only come through gratitude, only through enlarging your heart with gratitude. Bliss is the reward of gratitude. The gratitude which is not just worldly or just spoken lip service, but is from the heart, is from the heart, the gratitude of the heart. And the blissful people are never jealous of others, because what is greater than bliss? Bliss has so many dimensions that you go beyond the realm of cause and effects. 